As a man thinketh, Proverbs 23 and verse 7. The Bible says, But for as he kept in his heart, so is he. As a man thinketh. 2 Corinthians 10 and verse 3 to 6. Therefore, though we walk in the flesh, we do not war afterwards flesh for the weapons of our warfare are not what can is it but they are mighty through god to the pulling down of our strong holds behind every stronghold is a strong man that can only go down by a strong hand look look at what he calls stronghold look at what he calls our mighty foes. casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God. He didn't stop there. He said, bring him into captivity. It's like every day you come out, the warfare in front of you is to hold captive every thought that doesn't resemble scriptures. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Your mindset is your life. Your mindset determines the things that minds you. Man can have a different life from the state of his mind. What is real to a man becomes his reality. Everything about your life is the way you think and the way you reason, the way you perceive life, the way you understand life. Everything where you are right now is the extent to which your mindset can carry you. And where you will be will need an improvement in the way you think. I've told you a future that will not require a change from you now. It will not be different from your past. A future that will not require any change from you now will not be different from your past because you can't keep doing the same thing and expect a different what result you know when god comes to deal with the life of a man when god wants to change the story of a man what he first do is to arrange his mindset is to alter the way the man thinks did you see that's what we call the power of imagination and visualization faith is the confidence of things what hoped for so that means there must be things hoped for the word hope there simply means things perceived in your imagination and the evidence of things not seen that's why he calls it evidence because though you are not seeing it in this realm but you are seeing it what from another realm when he wanted to change the mindset of abram which simply means assumed father abram assumed father the first thing he did was to alter his name to abraham father of nation and say come abraham look at the stars of the sky count them he wanted him before it becomes a reality to have a mindset of what it is to be the father of many nations that's one of the missing link in faith the power of visualization that nothing will happen on this realm except it has been established in another realm do we not read the scripture he said what is it is what has been for there is nothing new under the sun and i told you anything you want to say now that has not existed somewhere can never happen because it is new under the sun. He said, mind those things that are above. Set your mind. Set your mind on this. You can choose to set it. It's like a, a remote. You, you control. You tune it to the way you want it to look like. Set your mind on things above. Remember in Mark? How that Jesus came before the fig tree. And they couldn't see fruit there. And he cursed the tree. The Bible says the next day, while they were passing, Peter calling to remember and said to him, Master, behold, the fig tree thou cursed at withered away. What was Jesus' response? Have faith in God. So what is faith? He has pictured the fig tree withered in his mouth. So Peter is the one saying it the second time. The Bible says, for if a man has faith like a mustard seed, he can move mountain. He will see if he says to this mountain, move, and he will not doubt what in his so he's seen the mountain in the heart moving. If he will not doubt in his heart, so that means he's picturing it in the heart that the mountain has moved. The power of imagination. He wanted to make Abraham and the length of blessing he will give to him. He said, Abraham, come walk the length and breadth of the whole earth he said wherever your feet as you are walking i give you is it possible but he did that in his mind your mindset is everything so you must be conscious of the settings of what your mind because that is what draws reality to you your mindset is your internal magnet i gave you an example 
if I want to get into biometrics to be able to get identification from your fingerprints, the first thing I need is a scanned copy of your fingerprints registered in that CPU. That is your mind. So that whenever you come and you put your hand, the external is trying to checkmate what is already there. So if you have a mindset of failure, when prosperity comes, when it will it click, the identity is not the same. Give you a very clear practical view of it to understand you need to consciously set your mind proverbs 4 23 said guard your heart with all diligence for out of it flows the issues of life guard your heart not guide it guide it means direct as if you should be a policeman around there you see a wrong thought entering you kill it because what you feed grows what you stab dies what you feed it comes first as a seed by the time you keep meditating on it instead of the word what happens it begins to germinate then grow to little branches you keep meditating on it that is what we now call strong it does now have roots so even when you come for service we preach some branches we follow but the root is still there at that level what you need is serious deliverance because it is no longer a normal thought it's now a thought sponsored by a spirit that's what we call strong a thought sponsored by what? A spirit. I saw it from scripture. And it was in his heart to betray him. The first time it became more intense for him was when the woman used the alabaster box. The current day, I think the alabaster box was one point something million pounds. An alabaster box is precious ointment. They are compelled thems of precious ointment being kept by mothers for their children over time. You know, some of our parents were like that some of you i don't know they don't do it again but some people still do it they'll be keeping cer ceramic plates you go to your house they pile it like this say this one is for when chin we marry this one is for uju even rapper they arrange rappers they kept them like that arrange that's what the alabaster so when the lady wants to get married the mother gives it to her so you can see it is an inheritance and like nabot we say no man sells inheritance he only transfers it that's why Ahab couldn't buy it. It's not, it's not sellable. And so that's angry. Why this waste? Why? He, he, was, he was looking at the cost value. Cost value of the oil. If this money enter this account, if I move 10%, Jesus will not know. Because of Allah. <laughs> he was doing analysis. Sometimes when you see people talking like that, even in church, it's not because they have good spirit of management. It's not so. They are looking for something. And the Bible says after jesus dipped the bread in the soup and gave to him satan entered so you see it was a thought that was building when it becomes a stronghold is you can't help yourself at that level you can behave like a witch when you now hear that the person you don't like has an accident believers you smile we will shout thank you jesus the God that answered by fire he will be you sing it happy at the downfall of another believer why you must check the settings of your mind he said in meekness in strutting that's what i came to. there are people that opposes themselves no matter what i do here they won't succeed because they are enemies to themselves yes it is true that no weapon fashioned against you shall prosper what if you become the weapon it will over prosper there are people that what oppose this you are pushing them into success their minds are and say by force and no succeed they decide to cooperate with their village altar by the way they reason and by the way they what they think how would you come to service year in year out? the word of god cannot adjust your life they do things directly opposite of scriptures what will your man of god do for you again some of you even if they bait you inside all your I've told you that the oil come upon sense and I will anoint your head. See, we don't do ritual in church. Just come and pour your and be rubbing your your head. That's why we put knowledge there for the oil to receive it. How can you be confident after praying for hours, seven day hours daily, coming to this meeting now to release the blessing over your life and you have somebody inside church here who know they talk. May God not give you members that will waste your prayer and fasting. Members who will be basket as you pour just goes out instruct them not to oppose yourself first peter 3 and verse 10 he said he said if he that loveth life and want to see good days let him refrain his tongue from evil i want you to oppose yourself again he said for he that will love life 
you want to see enjoyment and you want to see goodness control your mouth now then force you if you don't have something good to say keep quiet after all the bible says stillness and quietness shall his strength be known you are so confused keep quiet don't say nonsense that those who what they oppose them they stop themselves from going forward in life because of the settings of their mind the way they think the way they reason the way they do things when men will say there is a he said that you will say to what to them for me there is a lifting up i will keep saying it till i see it. certain limiting set you must drop beggarly mindset have you seen people like that they can have one million they, are, they will still beg they, they've been trained that people must be giving you let pastor preach learn to nations they don't mind they are not even hearing him change your thoughts pattern have you not read the scripture i say it is more blessed to give so you pray every day lord you will bless me to lend to nations i refuse to be stranded know that you are looking for everybody inside church to explain your stranded situation some people are skillful beggars oh skillful beggars somebody wants to beg you will be explaining it's good for one to pursue his dreams in life in this business i've been planning to start the problem is just the money cap it if only the money if they tell you to make even more especially christian believers smart change that lifestyle limits you i'm not saying when you need help you don't seek for help but ensure you don't remain there you challenge yourself each day and say lord i want to be the one lending to others it's a spirit you have to set yourself loose from it that people are responsible for your upkeep number two when you feel everybody else is better than you when i first know a person with inferiority complex i check his friends do you know inferiority complex people either at your level or lower than you because you can't stand it when you have people so farther than you it's inferiority complex impossibility mindset some of you like pity everything you just everybody you have seen i'm very sure some of you in this church everybody know your problem you have shared it to god the holy spirit the son to all the human beings see the highest any man born of a woman can give to you is temporary relief what are the things that that makes us reason and the way we do number one your background your background some of you because of the way you come from it has made you feel naturally disadvantaged I, I, I've heard I've heard people say to me when they see someone say, those are rich kids for you you are poor kids no now you are poor kids we attack so when you are passing you can know you what is rich kid it's just somebody that's developed himself to have good self-esteem and carrying himself well that's why you are a rich kid some of them go inside and richly drink a ring. even if you give a man with a healthy mindset rags he will wear it like gold and bands and call it crazy jeans it's not crazy you just tear tear everywhere they've told him that he's a big boy by the way just tear your throat everywhere yes in those days can you try it they arrange the mindset to make them look like this is the what is invoked now this is for the big boys it affects your sense of self-esteem. it affects your choices in life some of you because you came from a background that maybe you guys were not you know you didn't have so much of the good things of life then you see one boy a man is giving you thank you hey you have done thanksgiving service thank you challenge yourself into your season of what celebration if nobody have gone abroad in your family be the first if every of your siblings have married no entities be the one to marry an established person don't agree with it and say this background it has a way of shaping your and feel like there are certain things that is not meant for you who told you you cannot be abroad it's your mind that sends a smell and a signal to others that this is who you are you work with rich people behave like a rich person too Let, let's go out i don't just feel like you don't say i'm only no day but you don't feel like never impact your children with difficulty pain struggles impossibilities some parents has a way of making their children inferior. the kind of things they say would say to them is somebody look for your trouble look for your don't go and find trouble like that you don't you know your family if you look at it, do you know who i am you might tell the person do you know who i am everybody they know who them be there's a way you say it, even the person who has your mind culture is the second thing that shapes the mindset of people especially the african man's culture and the tribal culture our culture of education is terrible very terrible every mindset of education is that once you finish school you are blue that's why you become a disappointment after two months that's the mindset when you finish school now and they say you can learn this kid the course is 200 i say go for before course 
Our concept is bad. He's shocked to see somebody that tell you he didn't go to school. His schooling is that he went for a certification course of three months and he's working in Microsoft. Nigeria, ah, ah, you must get BNG or being generator. You just something. Mindset is bad. Our concept of success is wrong. That's why there is so much of social decadences. Our success definition here is sure. It's terrible. But you see a professor in the US still riding bicycle. Yeah, this car. Everybody is under pressure because of the definition of what success. There are things people see to show that you are what successful. Throw your money around, buy a house, have car. That's you are blue. Even when you tell them I have 50 lands that are bought, it's not success. And that's why I like the Igbo people. It's only other tribe that are under pressure for marriage. Oh, Igbo man 59, he doesn't send you. The parent already know they can't force him. He will find one shop. He will do chemist. That's where he will be sleeping inside. The house you enter just 30 minutes a day is 500k. You bought TV you don't used to watch. So when guests come to your room, they will hail you. Wow, my God. That's what you are looking for. The Igbo man will sleep inside the shop. The wisdom of life. Mindset. A young man now is marrying because he's tired of washing clothes and cooking food. They've not married you now. You have rich house. You have carried mopping stick. You're on top of zinc. Our wife, you are mopping zinc. So they will know our wife is hard working. Have you not shown them why they are marrying you? Cultural mindset. An average man sees a lady as a child so he can beat a woman. Your bride price is 1K. Good family even return it. How much did you pay? Have you not seen women lose their life through childbearing? The Yoruba people with Agbada, you carry Agbada and give woman. You have peeled the woman's hand because your parents trained you that a woman is to come and suffer in your house. That's the essence of when you marry wife, God has solved all your problems. The cultural mindset. Even our concept of spirituality. What we term spirituality to be in culture is terrible. Number three. Experiences of life. Your experience. Someone who lives with wicked will tend to see everybody as being wicked. A girl who have had out seven outbreak will tell you all men has come, as if she has stated all. You stated three foolish boys. You assume that all men has come because you lack discernment. You've been betrayed. You've been cheated. It has a way of framing your mindset to be suspecting anybody you want to do business with because of your past world experiences. Your environment where you grew up can shape your mind. So your environment matters. Education matters. It has a way of framing you. The kind of people you wake up and see every day has a way of framing your mindset and pushing you forward in life or leaving you at where you are. And that's why God should help you. People you meet in life can frame your mindset. Be conscious of the kind of people you surround yourself with. They shouldn't be reasoning with you at that same lower level that like you are. Look for people with a high level of reasoning. They have a way of what pushing you forward. Media. That's the whole most terrible thing that shapes people's mindset now. I tell you that marriage is, is the coming of two adults, whether man and man, zim and zam, two spirit and queer, whatever type of shaping people's mindset on the internet. You see marriages break every day. Say, man, talk when you give him 10. How to have a healthy mindset. He said, be not conformed to this world, but be thou transformed by the renewing of what? Your mind. Follow the word. Give yourself to God's word and follow what he says you should what? The healthy mindset will come. Prayer, prayer. Luke twenty-two verse three tells us how that Satan has entered the thoughts of, of Judas because devil, the devil can program a wrong mindset inside you for failure. He can program a wrong mindset inside you. You just find that you are reasoning and thinking wrongly. So you need to pray and say, Lord, deliver me from every mindset that is what a strong hope. Cultivate your mind. Give yourself to read. When you read, you interact with global minds across the globe. Give yourself. Be a reader. Read. There is so much in life that you need to know. Refuse offense and bitterness. They are doing child education now. Say, if the picking features for me, hair break. If the, you are not acting like a witch. I've seen believers like that. This is something bad just happened. If the bike features for me, I let your break. Heal yourself of every bitterness. Take it away. Because wounded people will wound others. Hot people will hurt others. Right association. Proverbs 27 and verse 17. Iron sharpened, iron amplified. Say, so a man sharpened the contents of his friend through conversations. Iron sharp. As we are talking, I'm making you a better person. Proverbs 13 and verse 20. Say, he that walketh with the wise shall be wise, but the companion of the foolish shall be utterly what? 
destroyed. He said, do not be deceived. That evil communication corrupts good manners. You see the kind of way you are talking vulgar language now because of the kind of friends you are keeping. You have picked it from them. This you are now saying resembles what your friends who are also what? Say. Very important. Exposure. What in arranges people's mindset after the scriptures? Like exposure. They see what people are achieving. They tell themselves, and I'm here forming king. Because a local government chairman simply means the chairman of local people. Life is bigger than you go and see life. Exposure what matters. Once in a while, travel out. Go and see other places. See what's happening in the country. Surround yourself with possibilities. Don't wait for the future to happen. Happen to the future. Stop looking at where you are now or what you are going through. Put your focus on where you are going. You can wear and enter into your future throughout your mind now. Behave like it. Philippians 4 and verse 8. Train your thoughts to think right. Force yourself. But once you like it, once it brings God praise, it's once it is worthy of what? Praise. Think. Force you. You force yourself. When the Bible says think it, you consciously do it. Don't let your village mindset cage you. Don't feel like the good things of life is not meant for you. It doesn't matter your background. It doesn't matter your state of origin, your family status. A big guy comes from you with so much of money. Carry yourself well. You are interested in me? I'm actually, I'm just giving some time. Hey, hey, he has done for me. But especially leavers. Some ladies pray and marry a rich man. As if they've already des been destined to be poor. So the only prayer point is the that thing they used to say 1980. You still want to carry it in 2024. You don't marry one rich man like that. No rich men are looking for rich ladies. Change your mindset. Carry yourself. Even if your family is not from a royal family and you're not a child of the tribe of the Lion of Judah, you have the royal blood in this side of you. You are a king for goodness sake. You are a queen. Carry yourself. First time the guy carries you to a restaurant, don't finish the plate even if you're hungry. Eat small. If you are in that kind of condition, you know it's hunger that is your problem. Tell him the way I'm feeling right now. I'll not be able to eat. I'll, I'll just prefer a takeaway. Take away. Then when you hold it, you with wisdom. As you open your door, only you say, just it's sweeter like that. But in public, respect yourself. The Bible says if you stand before a king, be careful. Set before you. Be careful. Carry yourself high. You are not cheap. Are you not valuable? If as a lady you are coming to a man's house, it's not to value. Right? So why are you making yourself feel cheap because he's playing a little cash? If it's easy, go and buy a child. Carry yourself. Put every limited mindset from my heart. Deliver me from every hindering mindset. God has chosen you for the top. You live an excellent life. Bring them every positive activity that the Lord is the word of God. There is nothing I want to know that I can't know. First John 2 20. But we have an unction from the Holy Ghost. We know all things. All things. All things. There is a way your mind will be right. Everything you need to make it a reality will follow it. Change. Don't speak defeat. Don't talk defeat. We have an extra advantage called the Holy Ghost. I'm not left to myself. I'm not stranded. He said, I will not leave you comfortless. You say, Lord, I will not speak defeat. I will not speak failure. I am anything that comes my way and do all things through Christ that strengthens me. I prophesy the favor of God on your life. I prophesy the wisdom of God on your life. I prophesy the excellency of God on your life. I prophesy the glory of God on your life. I decree you enjoy increase, all around fruitfulness, divine speed, as I said, every addiction break, every struggle end, every reproach be removed, every shame be wiped away, everybody be lifted up in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, for he causes wars to cease. He 
take care of the bones of the wicked. Every war around your life, every battle around your life comes to an end now. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord bless and keep you. The Lord cause his face to shine upon you. Gracious to you. The Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you. And the Lord grant you peace. In the name of Jesus. All you shall hear this week shall be good news. All you shall enjoy and experience this week shall be good news. Systems, individual, institution, government, nations are put under pressure. See what is yours coming to your hands. In the name of Jesus.